boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? What's good, what's good? It's your boy DJ Lil King, Rod Night Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure you like, follow, and subscribe on all Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all that good shit. Uh, Instagram, every, all the social medias, man, we on all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Got my dog Droopy M in the building today to help me what's with the interview the today, you know what I'm saying? Down. We got my boy, man. Y'all might have seen him on the Riding High News episodes that we do. He been putting on for the corporate skateboarding community for a minute now, you know what I'm saying? Doing giveaways, having different events where he's having safety precautions and giving away safety supplies for kids to use while they're skateboarding, such as helmets and pads and everything that just goes with the whole skateboarding. And when I think of skateboarding in Corpus, this is probably... As of right now, I'd probably say he's probably one of the at the at the forefront of representing the skateboarding community in Corpus. If not, definitely one of the top three that's definitely putting on for the Corpus skateboarding culture. You know what I'm saying? Today, man, we got my boy Alex Skates up in here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all What's up, y'all? This Alex Martinez. We call him Alex Skates. You know what I'm saying? What's good with it, man? What's good with it? What's up, man? Representing that skateboarding universal, man. We're going to get into it, man. We're going to jump in. We're going to jump into it from the beginning, man. Where, where you from, Alex? Originally, I'm, I was I was born in Corpus. Stayed here till about three years old. Lived in Molina, but I don't really remember none of that. So uh, where, where I say I'm from is Petronila, Texas, man. It's about 20, 25 minutes uh, away from here. And uh, nothing but country land, you know what I'm saying? Um, skateboarding didn't didn't really like in the country nothing really like got over there you know what i'm saying unless you saw it like on mtv or stuff like that and uh unless you re- read the magazines in school you know what i'm saying or the uh, the books from the library you know what i'm saying you saw them in the books but born and raised petronila texas man that's that's really where i'm from and uh skateboarding you know i I got introduced to it like let's, in, we gonna get into the skateboarding okay, later yeah, on. Yeah, let's yeah. let's get into little Alex before yeah, we yeah. even jump into to, to skateboarding and all. Let's yeah, let's yeah. jump into baby Alex. What was little Alex doing like as a kid? Man? He's on skateboarding, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my mom, my mom had me playing football, baseball. And this is in Petronilia. Petronilia had a, a well, we didn't have a league, but it was called Bishop Driscoll Little League. Five, I think five six years old, you're able to start playing t-ball. And uh, she would work in Corpus, come back, get I'll get out of school, take me to practice in either Bishop or uh, Driscoll because they were the closest, you know what I'm saying, to the league they had. And uh, that was five, six years old, you know what I'm saying, up till I was up to high school, you know what I'm saying. But little, yeah, I, I just she just kept me in sports to stay busy, you know what I'm saying, active. So you was playing like what, like t-ball? You weren't playing like basketball or football? No, just just football, uh, baseball. In uh, Bishop and Driscoll, and then at the CC Youth Football here in uh, Corpus, I would play during the football season. So you was living in Petronilia, driving every yeah. day to Corpus during football season yeah. to play for CCYFL? My mom would work in Corpus, get out, drive back to the house, pick me up, change, come back to Corpus for practice. How far is games. that? How far is that from Corpus? How long the uh, drive? Like 20, yeah, 25, 25 20 minutes, minutes yeah, 20, yeah, 25 yeah. minutes, you know what I'm saying? But back then, the speed limit was 55, so... Yeah, it took, a while. it took took a while. So she did that Monday through Friday. Yeah, right? and then on the yeah. weekends, on the weekends were games, man. Yeah, she, where the games were on the weekends. She did yeah, everything. She, and shit. she worked overtime just so I could have everything I needed to play sports. You know what I'm saying? She just she just wanted me to to be busy, and yeah, I just played sports all my ever since I was small. You know what I mean? So what was y'all doing like as kids like in the streets or was y'all not even like in the streets as kids like growing up in like so so what, what, like what at what point do you move to Bishop? Well, Bishop is uh, the junior high is there. So once you leave the elementary there that they had in Petronila, yeah. you go to sixth grade. Okay, so you were still living in Petronila, Petronila going yeah. to middle school in Bishop? Yeah, the bus would pick you up, drop the kids off at the elementary that went to the elementary, then drive to the high school, and then the high school was connected to the junior high. So it would take everybody. How big is Petronilia? Um, like, man, when... Ten blocks, five blocks? No, nah, like, it's, it's, it, it goes like into uh, land, you know what I'm saying? Like... It's there's like uh, four pieces, you know, there's the when you first get into it coming from Corpus, they say that's like the Mexican where the people that came from Mexico or Brownsville or whatever, you know, <laughs> majority is, is Mexicans right there. You know All what right. I'm saying? You go down the ways by getting into the town it is another area. Then there's another area by Bishop. So it's kind of separated, you know what I'm saying? All in different areas. 
really? And when I was there, population was 83. 83 people. 83 people. 83, So when I say bro. out there in the streets playing as kids, that wasn't There was no there. streets. It was ranch land. You're doing farm shit. Dirt road, man. Shooting so guns, no making fires. Like that. We had neighbors, but it was still ranch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was really? country shit. It wasn't no city shit. It was just straight up your country living. You know what I'm saying? That whole life Population 83. Population God, 83, damn. bro. It says right so, here the population of the city was 89, 89 okay, at see, the yeah. 2020 census. Yeah. God. 89, I, I was close. So it might have been a few babies born yeah. since then. <laughs> but damn. but now it has expanded. You know, people from here are going to the country and shit like that. But back then, yeah, there was nothing. So middle school, what's up at, at Bishop Middle School? You jump into sports, band, yeah. or anything like that? Uh, what happens in middle school? Yeah, middle school, I joined the band. And then, uh, you know, I did that for probably a year. But then it was uh, football. I was still playing baseball at the time, but the main thing was football. You know what I'm saying? I was running back. I loved it, man, ever since playing youth football here in Corpus. Hey, so they played six-man ball over there? No, no, it wasn't ball? that small. It was like a 3 eight. It was <laughs> like bad. a... No, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was... Yes, it was that small, well, but Bishop, it wasn't... Yeah, it Bishop's, was, yeah, Bishop's 3A. They it's, play against like... They, well, back when, in the day, we used to... When was, I was at West Oso, we would play against like Bishop. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. We would play against like Sidon and Taft. Yeah, exactly. And like Ingleside. Yeah, Ingleside. Yeah, no, I, know they have, I know they have them little towns, man. They yeah. got the little six-man... Where they're playing six-man ball. Yeah, bro. they do. They do. That's a... Uh, that's a small, that's yeah, smaller that, than that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, Bishop yes. was like 2A, 3A the whole time I was there back and forth. And I think now they've gotten so big that they're 4A. Now, well, no, now, no, it, now. Ain't, it ain't that they've gotten so big. Now, basically, UIL has added another division. Oh, okay, when okay. we were in school, UIL only had 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, and yeah. 5A. Now they have 6A. So a lot of the schools that were us, uh, 5A back then, where, where they had so many kids that yeah. they made them 6A schools. Mm. So West Oso back in the day used to be a 3A school, but now they're now they're a 4A school yeah, also. Yeah, so yeah, a lot yeah. of them uh, okay. 3A schools turned to 4A schools. A lot of them 4A schools turned to like Cal Allen and them. They're yeah, like yeah, yeah, schools, yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that now type shit. Hell yeah. But yeah, that was a junior high, just playing sports, you know, the same thing. Band, I didn't really like. I just did it for a year or whatever because you were able to like pick a, a what is it called like elective. a yeah elective and I just did that. Was you playing band? Uh, trumpet. I played yeah. the trumpet when I man, was. Man, I wanted. I, I tried so hard. Like I, I don't know if I was telling y'all last time. I tried so hard to like want to be in the jazz band and shit, but I never made it. See, I hated <laughs> jazz band. I didn't I, like. Whenever I was in band, I like I was like marching band and that's it. Whenever it was time for like concert band and like. Us to do like Christmas concerts, like fuck no, like I ain't signed up for this shit. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm trying to march, like yeah, I'm yeah. trying to do the parades and shit like that, like yeah. fucking battle against other fucking schools and shit, like See, we didn't, concert time. You're on some drum line doom, shit, doom, yeah. Doom, yeah. Like man, yeah, we I'm trying to be on some yeah. drum. We didn't have shit. that. We didn't. Line shit. But hey, part of put band a, is put a mic to, closer to you. You're in band, you're in it the whole year. Put the mic closer to you. If you when you're in band, you're in it the fucking whole year. So basically. You got to do the marching part and you got to do the fucking concert part yeah. shit. So that's basically why I was in band shit. We didn't have marching band. It was just like the y'all regular did have, band. So y'all, how did y'all, so football games, whenever they Not, do, well, no, well, band, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't separated. It's all the same oh, okay, shit. Yeah, band yeah. is band. Yeah, that's yeah, why I said yeah, like, yeah, did, yeah. whenever you, if you, you're in band, if you're in the marching band, you're in the concert band. Like yeah, it ain't yeah, no right. separate like type shit. Like, so if you're in band that you're going to do marching and you're going to do the goddamn concert shit. <laughs> yeah. So hell yeah. So you're saying, oh, but in middle school, they don't really have, they don't have, march, yeah, they do, they do got middle marching band, but they well, didn't really I, just do parades. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, do yeah. like football games, they yeah. just do parades. Hell, exactly, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Was any kids like thugging it over there at fucking Driscoll? Do y'all have like any badasses and shit like that? In Bishop, there was a... I mean, Bishop, Bishop, my yeah, bad. It, there was a, well, the side that's like east side, and then there's the west side. West side, I guess you would call it thugging it, but it... To me, it wasn't like no city thugging it. You know what I'm saying? It's it wasn't a big town. You know what I'm saying? So there, yeah, there's kids out there doing bad stuff and bad things, but it wasn't no. To me, it was disciplined town. You know so what I'm saying? So y'all moved like, to Bishop. Uh, did anybody no. sell drugs out there? Yes, it was all still there. Did everybody know that that person yes, sold drugs yes, out there? Everybody knew. That. We were gonna get to that. We were gonna get yeah. to well, that. Well, that's yeah. what you, you were asking yeah. if it was you know anybody thugging it out there or whatever. They, they, so well, when I say middle school, I mean just niggas thugging it in general. I mean, shit. Really hustling like, in middle school, it, but we oh, were still nah, that thugging it. You people know was saying? hustling in middle there, school. There was, that's I don't say I I wouldn't say hustling, but Bishop was a real like. Like, it's like Dis- we said last time, like yeah. a real strict. Like yeah, real strict, dudes. man. They 
school. You you school you went district. to school not to mess up. Yeah, you mess up. There's your mess ups, but nothing like probably more like fights and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. nothing crazy like. <clears throat> yeah, same shit. Yeah, like pick up a dope yeah. charge. Yeah. Niggas at West nah. getting caught with fucking sacks of weed or nah. with knives and shit like nothing that. like that. Nah, just oh man, that's me. like same situation. That's like one situation. Both things you just said. <laughs> but we'll get into that in the future podcast. But yeah. For sure. For sure.